Hey, how's it guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to link to a Google Sheets in Google BigQuery. So this feature is really useful when you want to work with uh, tables in Google Sheets directly while importing the physical tables. All right, so first you want to select your project. Next, select the uh, data set that you want to link to your Google Sheets file. And I'm going to select my JG data sets uh, data set. Then click on this uh, view actions icon. They want to click on create table. All right, so let me go into my Google Sheets first. So here in my Google Sheets, I want to link this open data SF uh, worksheet or this table here. So I'm going to uh, copy the uh, URL. Now I'll copy the URL address and let's go back. From the create table from field, we want to choose drive. Then we're going to paste the Google Sheets URL. And for the file format, we want to choose Google Sheets. So for the sheet range, uh, this one's pretty uh, important step. So I want to copy the tab name. For the sheet range, basically just insert the word sheet's name. Now for the uh, destination, we want to leave project and data set as it is. And for the uh, table name, here we can provide a new name. I'm going to name this as SF. Data set list. And for the schema, I usually just let BigQuery to uh, auto detect the metadata. Now expand the events options a field. And since my uh, record set starts from uh, row two, I'm going to uh, skip the first row. Then click on create table. At this point, my Google Sheets table is now linked in my Google BigQuery uh, console. If I simply click on my SF data set list uh, table here, it's only going to show me the schema's detail and the uh, table's info, which is uh, where the data set is coming from. All right, so if you want to uh, create a table, insert a new tab. And to create a table from a Google Sheets uh, file, we need to uh, specify the project name. the data sets name with the Google Sheets link followed by the Google Sheets name. All right, so if I run the query, it should now return uh, every single records from my open data SF table. Now, if I make some changes to uh, one of the records, so here I'm going to pin one, two, three at the end. Now, if I go back to my uh, BigQuery console, and I'll run the query again. You should see that the value is not updated. All right, so this is going to be everything I'm going to cover in this video. And hopefully you guys found this video useful. And as always, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video.